Hua Hin has got everything an older man could ever want, I think. So guys, welcome back to the channel and another lovely day in Hua Hin. So today, now we're down a separate part of the beach that I've not been. And we're gonna have a chat down here. Oh, they got nice bikes to rent here as well, look. Look at that red and black Aerox. Swaddy cap. Yeah, that red Aerox, really nice. How much your rent one day? 300, 350, 400. Three. Yeah. What, the Aerox? Aerox 700. How much? 700. 700, one day? Yeah. Okay. 700, one day? I'm getting mine for 300. So, hello sir, how are you? So it's a bit more of a rip off down on the beach. Okay, it is a bigger bike than mine, but it's still over double. It's real touristy down here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get these keys out, my. Cause they're rattling. The old bike keys. Swaddy cap. Ah, this is the beach we came to the other day. Same one. It's a lot more busy now. See, I come down six in the morning, didn't I? Nothing was open. Nothing at all was open when I came down here. Got a weed shop. Yeah, it's starting to get hot now, boy. Buddy cap. Yes, it's totally different once the day comes to life. So, here's the horses I've been looking for. Took me ages to find these horses. And here they are, look. Lovely little things, aren't they? Beautiful. Sorry? <laughs> 100 bad. Hello, boy. How are you doing? What's your name then? Mali Ho. Mali Ho. Okay. Ah, yeah, you're beautiful. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> 100 bad. Go along, go along the beach. On the beach, 400 bad. 400 bad, really? Wow. 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. Mm. You can let you go alone. 400 bat guys. You can go up and down the beach. 400 bat to go up. This lady's on one now. And saying that, today's vlog is all about ladies. And we're going to get into the subject in a minute. <laughs> it's, been, <laughs> it's been a bit of a manic morning. Hey, beautiful down here when the sun's up. This lady out on one look. 400 baht. Welcome to Hua Hin Beach. What is about 11 a.m.? Today's subject, guys, is all about the woman in Hua Hin and how I think this is an amazing place to find a woman. It's been playing on my mind. I've waited a few days until I've, you know, get a real picture of this this town and, you know, three days is still nothing, is it? But what I've already seen is you can get, you can find an amazing, beautiful woman in Hua Hin. And everywhere I look, there's just, there's couples, there's people walking about and loved up and, the apps, the apps here people. My app, I can't keep up with my app since I've been in Hua Hin. Um, compared to anywhere else I've been. I'm sure places like Pattaya and that must be absolutely crazy on the app, but I can't keep up man. I've had to like juggle doing my vlogs with trying to meet some ladies for coffee, you know, and if if you met them all by by how many messages you get on the app, you I wouldn't have no time to go and do vlogs. It is constant. I don't know if that's because I'm fresh meat here. And but yeah, this is the number one place I've been. Where just ladies, 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 non-stop app, and they all are all up for 
meeting straight away. None of this, oh, next week, like in Chiang Mai, or, oh, maybe yes, maybe no. They want to meet right now. A lot of them are, are bar ladies as well that message you. And of course they want paying. Just the picture I get from it is you could settle down here and have a nice life with a nice Hua Hin lady. And the proof is in the pudding. You see it everywhere you walk around. I've never been to Pattaya or like that, but I've been to Angeli City in Philippines and back in the day I've been to places like that. What I would say with Hua Hin is, it's that medium. It's a place where you can get a beautiful lady and still live that chilled life. But it just seems everybody's, you know, they've got their house, they've got their condo, they've got their car out the front. They live their life going out for meals, going out for a bottle of red wine and things like this. And yeah, that's what's really struck me with this place. It's sort of like a, not a, not a retirement home for older Franks, but I don't know, we're, we're quiet people. Where people want to live a chilled life and still have the women around them. That's that's what I get the feeling with here. I mean, look, it's it's nearly midday now. Nobody's out on the beach, really. Everybody's just living that chilled life. Yeah, I found somebody I really like already. And we're meeting up quite a bit. And I like her, man. She's cool. Hello, Swaddy Cap. How are you? I'm good. Yeah, cool. Ah, nice man. You on my YouTube, that okay? <laughs> cool, cool. So yeah, nice guy there. Sounds like he's from England or maybe America. Um, I think he said he's seen me on his TikTok. I think that's what he said. I'm not sure. I didn't really understand what he said. But he seemed friendly enough anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, a lady. I've lived in Chiang Mai four years. I've not found one lady that I actually would want to be with. Um, I've been here under a week and I've met a really nice lady that I like. It's the first real girl that I've properly, you know, thought, wow, after a few days, <laughs> it's a few days, man. But the first signs, you know, first signs mean a lot, don't they? <sighs> Sweat on, mate absolute rooster of a sweat on i'm sure that guy said he's seen me on his tiktok didn't he is that what he said i'm gonna have to look back at that my back is absolutely dripping now so i'm gonna get back i don't want this vlog to be to be too long really if you want a chilled life retirement without all the craziness but you still want the beautiful ladies Hua Hin it's a winner with me man it's a winner 400 baht I'm not gonna do it yeah it's okay thank you I mean I'm sure some of you guys are gonna shoot me down people that have been here for a long time or been to other places some of you probably say Wayne it's like that in loads of places or but I know it's a great yes I could live here <sighs> see you later buddy don't work too hard So in a nutshell, yeah, that's all I wanted to say about Hua Hin. Put the edge trimmer out, sorry. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same now, right? Wouldn't be the same. Hua Hin has got everything an older man could ever want, I think.
on then. One thing I will say, it's a bit knackered for space in Hua Hin. Everybody like seems to be in your way on the roads and things, even though it is a chilled town. There's always like somebody behind you. Because <laughs> the reason I came here was because I've read a lot about Hua Hin and how similar it is to what I like the chilled life and that's why I come here I wouldn't I wouldn't have come here if it was like if I read up about it and it was some crazy sort of town I came here because it's chilled and it's definitely what I've read about and more because I wasn't expecting the ladies here I wasn't <laughs> expecting beautiful ladies and it seems to be like easy to get dates and things man I mean my my tinder is pinging like a like a bobby dazzler mate it's can't keep up with it there's loads I've not even read you could you could have a good life here there's that guy again look 700 a day Jesus Christ man you'd have to remortgage your house so I think I'm gonna leave it there because I've got another vlog that I want to do about another subject and I'm sweating like an absolute dazzler so I'm going to go back and get the bike I just wanted to do this in honour of Hua Hin and the ladies here it's a great place I could see it's thrown another spanner in the works um, I could move down here no problem I think Chiang Mai is still my town man but Hua Hin I could live here no problems I'm going to stop waffling because it was only meant to be a short vlog and all these massage ladies are waiting to get my blood you know get my um back so i'm gonna leave it there they're all looking hope you're all safe and sound as always and i will see you in the next one they're all waving take it easy man take it easy